hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome and i hope you all are doing well so for today's video we are going to be learning how to make a lace closure or a lace frontal using the ventilating needle who's ready who's ready all right let's do it so first thing first we're going to be prepping the hair so i'm going to be using a hair bundle for this process so i'm going to go ahead and cut out the hair so I've already went ahead and cut a little bit out of the bundle. So right now I'm going ahead to cut the hair from the weft. Okay, so next I'm going to take my comb and comb out the little tiny hair that we're not going to be using because they're too short. So as you can see right here, I'm just going to take that and throw it away. Okay, so next you want to take the hair and fold it over hold on take a little bit of the hair and fold it over just like this so you want to have one short end and one long end so next you want to go ahead and create a loop hold on just create a loop just like that okay so if you're using uh, expression braiding hair or any kind of braiding hair you also want to do the same process if you want the length to be even on the bottom so go ahead and do that if you don't want it to be even on, even on the bottom you want to make sure to have one short end and one long end okay okay so to start you want to take your ventilating needle pass it through the lace okay and hook two strands of hair next pass it through just like that so next you want to take the ventilating needle and hook sorry, wrap it around the hair and then rotate it upside down just like this so next pull it through the loop and just pull it all through so we're doing the single knot method again take your ventilating needle pass it through the lace so next hook two strands of hair and pass it through the lace again okay so next you want to take the ventilating needle wrap it around the hair so next flip it upside down so next you want to pull it through the loop just like that okay and then pull it all the way through so that is the single knot method again pass the ventilating needle through the lace so next hook two strands of hair just like that and pass it through okay so next you want to take the ventilating needle and wrap it around the hair just like this so next rotate the ventilating needle upside down then pass it through the loop just like this okay so for the second method we're going to be doing the double knot okay so with that said let's go straight in so to start you want to take your ventilating needle pass it through the lace so next hook two strands of hair and pass it through the lace okay so next wrap the hair around the ventilating needle next rotate it upside down just like this and pass it through the first loop okay this time don't pull the hair all the way through okay again you want to take the ventilating needle bring it back and wrap the hair around the ventilating needle again okay and pass it through the second loop doing the same thing rotate it upside down and pass it through the second loop so now you can pull everything through just like that so this is the double knot method so i'm going to show you again one more time so that way you can un understand it So doing the same thing pass the needle through the lace so next hook two strands of hair and pass it through okay so next wrap the hair around the ventilating needle and rotate it upside down just like this okay so next pull it through the first loop okay we're not pulling everything through the first loop so again we're going to create a second loop so you want to bring the ventilating needle back and wrap the hair around the ventilating needle again and pull it through 
the second loop just like that so for the second loop you want to pull everything through the second loop just like that Okay guys, so go ahead and try both methods on a little part, on a little session of the lace and see which one you like the most. See if you like the, the double knot method better than the single knot method or if you like the single knot method better than the uh, double knot method. So you go ahead and uh, give that a shot and see the one that you would like to work with. But for me, I prefer the single knot method because it's faster and I feel like it looks neater than the double knot method. Yeah. Anyways, give it a shot. You decide for yourself. See the one you would like to use for your wig. And uh, yeah. So this one right here is the double knot method. Right there. I'm going to do a little close up so that way you guys can see it right there. So yeah, that's it. Go ahead and uh, work on your lace closure, your lace frontal. Enjoy doing your work. As always, don't rush the process. Take your time. If you want to get the best results, you need to take your time. Take breaks, okay? You don't have to rush it. Plan ahead of time. If you want your lace closure next week, start now. <laughs> All right? So I'm going to be posting another video showing you guys how to create a lace frontal or lace closure using the crochet hook. So you can see right here on one side I use the crochet hook and on the other side I use the ventilating needle. So in my next video I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly use the, uh, the crochet hook to create a beautiful looking uh, crochet closure or crochet frontal wig okay so stay tuned for the next video turn on your notification so that way you will miss out on the exciting video that is coming to you soon <laughs> all right so we've come to the end of today's video i hope you find this video helpful i hope you enjoy this video if you do please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also if you're new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for popping by today. And thank you everyone for watching. And I'll see you all in my next video. All right.